got to get into some of that sweet soul music, some of those great harmonies. Uh, oh, I don't even, the album is called Tell Me This Is The Dream, produced by the legendary Tom Bell. Now we're getting to the real legends, Tom Bell of Philly International, Sigmund Sound Studios, Tom Bell, who teamed up with Linda Creed, the songwriter, and uh, Russell Tompkins Jr., the lead singer, the falsetto singer of the Stylistics, spawning out those hits by the Stylistics in the early 70s, Bet You By Golly Wild, You Make Me Feel Brand New, uh, I'm stone in love with you. And now Tom Bell putting this magic on the Delphonics. And um, number, let me bring that up for you. Billboard's Hot 100, October 30th, 1971. It debuts at number 100. Number 100 on Billboard's Hot 100. Oh, Billboard's Hot 100 made its debut. Walked well, right up to the sun. Should have got a higher debut than that. But then, hey, love. Their their first single off that album, I believe, is their first single. Oh God, you can't beat harmonies like that. This is just these 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 harmonies are just so angelic. But hey, love only got as high as number fifty two on the pop charts. But we're on Billboard's Hot One Hundred of October thirtieth, nineteen seventy one. Let's get some perspective on this. Some of the big hits off this Hot One Hundred, imagined by John Lennon at number six. Go Away, Little Girl, the Steve Lawrence record redone by Donny Osmond, and uh, Trap by a Thing Called Love by Denise LaSalle, a big hit. If You Really Love Me by Stevie Wonder, that was a huge hit for him. Sweet City Woman by the Stan Peters. Easy Loving by Freddie Hart, a big country hit. Crossing Over, Have You Seen Her by the Chi Lots, and uh, Everybody's Everything, a hard rocking record by Santana. Uh, some of the big hits off that Billboard's Hot 100. And now at number 100, we got the Delphonics, Walk Right Up to the Sun. And produced by Tom Bell. Tom Bell, who Dale Bonix was actually Tom Bell's, I believe, his first big project. Bet you by, uh, well, not bet you by golly, well, it was uh, La 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 Means I Love You, which was back in 1968. And then Didn't I Blow Your Mind This Time, Didn't I? which came out about a year or two later after that. And now we got this song, Walk Away, Walk Right Up to the Sun. Yes, a great record. Norman Harris arranged that record. Norman Harris is one of the biggest arrangers at Philly International back in the back in the seventies, back in the heyday. I mean, Kenny Campbell and Leon Huff's uh, record label. Now, here's the thing about this album by the Delphonics. This is the first album by the Delphonics that featured a new arrival. His name was Major Harris, who later went solo and did "Love Won't Let Me Wait," which was back in 1975. Uh, by Major Harris, but he, he joins this group. He replaced Randy Kane, a founding member of the Delphonics, and uh, Tell Me This Is The Dream is the album. Hey, Love is on this album, and Walk Right Up To The Sun. But Walk Right Up To The Sun, uh, top 20, I believe, on R&B, but on Billboard's Hot 100, no cigar. No cigar. Oh, God. Come on. 81? I'm telling you, a lot of these songs that made it on Billboard's Hot 100 did not make top 40. And some of these records were decent. A lot of these records were good record, were decent tunes. Good tunes. Only got as high as number 81, though, on Billboard's Hot 100 for six weeks. Man, love that soul music. Delphonics, walk right up to the sun. October 30th, 1971, on Billboard's Hot 100. 